Please enjoy to the story Pizzeria Boy 1 by Mercurial Leap. Author's Note Author's Note So, I'm trying something new. This is going to be mainly just dialogue. I haven't tried something like that before, so I'm pretty excited. And I really hope you guys like it. Yeah, there's no sentimental, relatable author's note here. I'm just saying. Talking. You know. Now, this story is going to be quite cute, see. In a way. Hope you all like it and give it a chance. And also, just saying. If you like pizza and hot guys, well. This is the book for you. When Joey Sparks calls in to Harrison Pizzeria to order a, you guessed it, pizza. The least she expects is to make a friend. The best friend, nonetheless. Well, she'd had a couple of friends before. But never one that she had not once seen, just spoken to. Neither did she have a friend as good as Logan Hale. It also didn't hurt that he had an extremely hot voice. Expect the unexpected. Well, what can I say? A lot can happen over pizza. Pepperoni. Yorkins. Hello, this is the Harrison Pizzeria. How may I help you? Well, you sound extremely chipper. Am I that obvious? You think? Oh, well. I'm new. Cut me some slack. So what would you like to order? I want a pepperoni pizza with everything on it. Then how's it the pepperoni pizza? Heck if I know. I just say that into the phone and end up with a delicious dinner. So, whatever. All I want to do is sleep. Honestly. And you decided to mention that to me because, hey, I'm sleep deprived and on a phone. What did you expect would happen? Not this, for sure. I'm Joey. Really? You sound like a girl to me. I am. Dipstick. Oh. I'm Logan. Yeah. And about the sleep deprivation. I can relate. I were at Harrison's last summer. Now I just stick to ordering over the phone. Wise choice. I know. Now. Are you going to get someone to deliver my pizza or am I going to have to sleep hungry? So I don't know. Logan. So now we're on a first name basis, eh? Cut the crap and get someone to give me my pizza, boy. Jeez, woman. Now, I'm sure you have more orders to attend to. So, sayonara, Bricacho. Bricacho. Yes, H H. Don't question it. They slash N. Yes, a new story. Sme. I have way too many ideas. Honestly. Dot dot dot. Either way, I hope you guys liked it less than three. Also, guys, just thought I should mention that Libby made the amazing cover on the side. Isn't it fab? Cheese. My love is pizza shaped. Won't you have a slice? It's circular, so there's enough to go around. Dora J. Arab. This is the Harrison Pizzeria. How may I assist you? Damn, what's with all the good manners, Logan? Oh, it's you again. You say that like it's a bad thing. Isn't it? I know where you work. Was it supposed to be a threat? Weren't you supposed to assist me? Touch. The usual. You've taken my order once. But you sound like you've had it before. Around a million and five times. So. There. You're right. The usual. Port favor. Cool. By the way. Are you ladinx? Or. Nag. Love the Spanish language. Though. So. How old are you? Seriously? Small talk on a pizza delivery order phone thing. Seriously? Pizza delivery order phone thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm 17. Same. Also, before I forget, 
Can you tell the guy to get me a couple brownies with the pizza? Sure. I'm waiting. Keep waiting. Thanks a lot. You have assisted me a whole lot. In my mind, that sounded dirty. In my mind, you sound stupid. Well, just for that, no brownies. It's your job to get them to me, idiot. It's part of my order. What's that? I can't hear you. Very funny, Logan. I am. It's just part of my charm. What charm? The charm that made you order from here yet again. I've been ordering from here for years. Try again, Bracacho. Whatever. And, again with the Bracacho. Okay, someone else is calling. Talk to you. Who are you kidding? I'll probably call in a couple days. No one in my family can cook. T-T-F-N. T -her. A slash N. I don't even know. Chicken. There's very little in my world that a foot massage and a thin crust. Everything on it pizza won't set right. G8 McKeevet. Hello, this is the heart. Seriously, just stop. Hey, Joey. Wow. You actually sound, dare I say it, happy to hear from me. Maybe because I am. Do my ears deceive MB? No, you moron. I'm just so bored. I'd be happy to hear from my uncle Reggie. And you decided to use that as your comparison because he tried to kill me. Wonderful. Remind me of that when you take me to meet the fam. Okay. Sure. Wait, what? You're so stupid. It's funny. By the way, I want the usual with some tacos on the side today. Wait, we serve tacos. Yes, Bozo. Why didn't I know this? Like I just said, Bozo. You're too kind. Don't mention it. When's your birthday? The 21st of August. Why? Meh. Mine's the 3rd of July. You're older than me. This isn't fair. Oh, yes that island. You're never going to let me live this down, are you? Never? Glad I know you so well. I'm predictable sometimes. Yeah. Also, did you know that my phone isn't waterproof? No. Well, now I do. And it sucks, because I decided to take a couple of underwater pictures today, and it just conked off. What exactly made you think it was waterproof? I don't know. Exactly. Mushrooms. Yorkins. Hey, this is the... Don't you ever learn. Why am I not surprised? Well, you should be. I'm not, Joey. You call in almost every day. Well, I can't argue with that. Exactly. Logan hailed argument after extra buddy nire. I can't just picture it. I can't just picture you under a guillotine. History student. Yep. Live it, love it, Bracacho. Not this again. Oh, yeah. HMM, so the usual. Do you even have to ask? Nag. So, with brownies or what? Pack them in there, Bracacho. Just don't call me Bracacho, and I will. It's your job. Bracacho. You annoy me. Same goes for you, Bozo. Oh, come on. Doesn't your boss ever get this that you... We talk for around 5 to 10 minutes. Brad. The old bag's practically always asleep. He'll never know this. Well, you can't never be too sure. And he's still the boss? He's still alive. Yeah. Wait. Did you just hang up on me? Nah, just kidding. Good, because that would bruise my ego big time. Well, then dot 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 oh, seriously? Slice? Yorkins. Joey, 
I am not repeating that stupid introduction again. Um, this isn't Joey. Oh, well, then. Hey, Marv, can you get the phone? I need to pee. Hello. Sorry, ma'am. Loose motions. Bacon. I want to live in a world where the need for pizza belittles that of war. Jason Barnett. Hello, this is the Harry. Again, Logan. Joey. Joey, you're back. Um, I haven't spoken to you in two weeks. I thought I had lost you. What are we? Married. Well, no, but you were my only source of entertainment in this hellhole. Glad to know I'm so special. You are. Amen. Good. Godly. I've been called that before. Not you. The pizza I'm about to get in. Forty minutes, max. That is if I actually place the order. You'd better. And if I don't. Again, I know where you work. Oh, is that the best you've got? As far as you know. Well, then. What do you want with the pizza? This time. Met. Surprise me. I'm packing something that costs a fortune. And I'll pack you a punch. We're even. You're mean. You're stupid. Veggie. Pizza makes me think that anything is possible. Henry Rollins. Hello. This is. Logan. The next time you say that, I will personally come to the pizzeria and castrate you. You wouldn't. I'm not afraid to cut the bitch. The bitch. Yes. Me. Number. You are a bitch. Then you're getting just the pepperoni pizza. Nothing else. Muchacha. Don't you even dare. I just did. Well, you will pay. Bricacho. No, you will. I'm the one giving you the pizza. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you say, Logan. So you finally have accepted my ultimate supremacy. Big words for a moron. Whatever. I was planning on giving you a discount, because this is apparently your thousandth order from here. But. And who are you to control who gets discounts and who doesn't? I was promoted, which basically means I get around seven bucks more per hour than I did earlier. Apparently. Someone filed an extremely praising comment about our, and particularly my, service. Really? Who? Oh, I don't know. I assume it was a certain someone named Joey. Sparks. Joey Sparks. And, just for the record, I did not file that report or whatever. Whatever floats your boat. I'm not a fisher girl. How am I supposed to know that? It's fishing season and I'm ordering pizzas. And I'm in high school. How would you know it's fishing season if you weren't a fisher? The same way I knew you were an idiot. The very first time we spoke. It's simply obvious. I do not know how to reply to that. The usual. Good. And yeah. Sausage. Ideas are like pizza dough, made to be tossed around. Anna Quinlan. Hello, and welcome to the Harrison Pizzeria. If you are Joey, you will. Something new. I am T V R R U P T me. Oh, you sly, sly dog. Yep, that's me. I never knew such a strapping young gentleman could be so cunning as to disrupt the privacy and introduction of a lady. There's a lady around. Where? I can't see we are. Ha. Ha. B-A-A. B-A-A. Black sheep. Have you any wool? No, but I have a fool. Oh, ha ha. That's so funny, I forgot to laugh. No you didn't, I heard it. Ha ha. You're the sly dog in this relationship. And that's how it's supposed to be. So you want to be in a relationship with me? Aren't we already platonically involved in a platonic relationship?
already. Well, yeah, but let me have my fun, okay? Well, if you have yours, I'm never going to have mine, so. No can do, sorry. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yep. Okay, then. Yeah. Bye. TTFN. Teaker. Bread. I love pizza. I want to marry it, but it would just be rude to eat her family at the wedding. Da Mike Bergley. Oh. Hey, Joey. How do you know it was me? You always call exactly at seven. I always know. I just like hearing your reaction to the whole. Hello, this is the bad Logan. Sit still, boy. Exactly what I'm talking about. Nice to know you appreciate my amazing sense of humor. It's more wit than humor, to be completely honest. Potato, potato. Seriously? Yep. You are lamer than I thought you were. Tell me a secret. Stalker? Nah, just interested. If I'm talking to you, I'd like to get to know at least one juicy little fact. It's a trade. You tell me a secret. I'll tell you a secret. You go first. It was my idea. Also, it's got to be embarrassing shit. Okay. Fine. Uh, my guilty pleasure is reading Jade Bits. Be louder. Boy, I'm half deaf. I I love Nicholas Sparks. What? Oh H A H A H A H A H A H A H A. Really? A who? Wait, is it because he is the same surname as me? Hey, don't laugh. And no way. How could I not? And please. We all know you love me. I don't know. Just. Up. Uh, okay, then. I kinda love playing dress-up games on my phone, you know, all those cooking and dress-up games and stuff. What? Yeah. Whoa. I did not expect that from you. Expect the unexpected. Bricacho. Stop with the damp B-R-O-C-H-A-C-H-O-ing. Nope. Peewees. Nag. Do this one thing for me, won't you? I just told you something I've never told anyone. Ever. I think that's sufficient. Oh. Then, I'm honored. But I'm still not on board with the whole Bracacho thing. Well, you should be. Yeah, and pack me some brownies again with the pizza, would you? Sure, madam. Crust. I love pizza. You can't really go wrong with pizza. Doc Nick Jonas. Hello, Josephine. That's not my name. So, it's just Joey. No full forms. No embarrassing names. Nope. So, it's just Joey. Yeah. Well, that's boring. Say what you will, but everyone knows you love me, and my name. Up. Uh, PR. Yeah, whatever. Loji. Did you just call me Loji? Yep. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think I prefer Bracacho. Yay. B-R-O-C-H-A-T-H-O. Why, Lord, why? Everyone hates you. Even you. Hey, I'm not everyone, am I? I I I'm not even entirely sure you're human. Whoa, snappy. I was trying to be nice and you just threw me off. Yeah. I'm S.O.R. I'm so proud of you. Um, not the reaction I was expecting, but that'll do. Awesome. Okay, so today I want the usual, with a milkshake. Give me something chocolate white. Whatever you want, Joey. Whatever you want. Olives. Those pizzas I ate were for medicinal purposes. Amy Neff's Jr. Joey E E E E E E Logie E E E E E E E E Not this again. Indeed. Tell me something. What do you want to know? 
tell me about your friends. Well, I have a dog and a brother, but he doesn't count. So, you have no friends. I have you don't I? Uh, well, yeah, but fine. I had a couple of friends when I was younger, but it was all shit. No one wants to befriend the quitet, fatherless black chick with a brother who has anger issues. I don't know how to respond. Wait, did you say quiet? Dot 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 yes dot I love how that's all you got from that statement. Now, tell me about your friends. Okay, so there's Blake. He's my best friend. Yeah. Then there's Natalia, my cousin who also happens to go to my school. There's Kale, my Bracacho, in your words. And lastly, there's Amy, the weirdo. Wow, you have a lot of buddies, don't you? Yeah, I don't know what or where I would be without them. Must be nice. It is. But fear not, now you have me. I do, don't I? And you always will. Well, for as long as you eat and order pizza, anyway. And that's forever. Amen. Hey, you didn't order any pizza. I have you don't die. Up. Uh, um. PR. Stop your blubbering. Now I want some pizza. It'll be right there. It'd better. Barbecue. Those pizzas I ate were for medicinal purposes. Amy Neft's dear. Hey Joey. What's up, Buttercup? I am not a power puff girl. Sure you aren't. I mean how am I supposed to believe that? You simply are. Why? I shall rebel against the system. Stupid rebel. Rebels aren't stupid. We shall rule the world, someday, I tell you. Then there will be rebels rebelling against you rebels. Dot 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 yeah dot. Not so confident now, are you? I always am. Stupid. Idiot. I prefer unique person. Yeah, sure. Really. M-M-H-M-M. Seriously? Meh. The usual? Yeah. And also pack in some tackles, will you? I have my last exam tomorrow, which is coincidentally the toughest and longest, and I am going crazy. Sure. History. Awesome. And yeah. Hey, Joey. Yeah. Up. Uh, I, I hope you do well. Thanks Logan. I hope so too. Sauce. There's no better feeling in the world than a warm pizza box on your lap. Kevin James. Joey. Logan. Hi. Follow ha. Bricacho. You just ruined it. I don't think so. When do you ever think? I think more than you do, at least. Nag. Yeah. Whatever. Let's agree to disagree. Let's. The usual. Yeah, just with extra chili on the side. I want to spice up my life a little more, you know. I could help with that. I know, that's why I asked you for the extra chilies. Why you gotta be so rude? Don't you know I'm better than you? Well, I had something else planned to say, but... What? Tell him he, tell him he, tell him he. Nah forget it. No. You shall obey the divine orders from Joey Evia Sparks. Uh, well, my middle name's Eva, too. Really? Nope, it's Jake. Logan Jake Hale. Logan Jake Hale. I like it. Uh, yeah. Um, Logan. Yeah, he are. I think Marv's stuck in the toilet again. Gotta go. Margarita. Yorkins. Hey Joe. Nicknames. I yeah. Well, let's be Joe and Lo. J Lo. She's hot. No. Ho Lo. Lo Joe. 
Mojo lo jo Milo holo Yetheroni Joey I'm bored Tell me another secret Why are you so determined to embarrass me? It's what I do Okay Whoa Deep breath and all This must be serious You know you can't trust me, right? Yeah, I do Up There's this girl I kind of like Oh my freaking gods Yeah But I don't think she likes me back Well, if she jello, then no, she doesn't If not, then you have a pretty fucking good chance how do you figure that? By up. I have no idea. Then. Up. Mom's calling. Gotta go. Dice. You better cut the pizza in for pieces because I'm not hungry enough to eat six dot yogi bear. Hello. This is the Harrison Pizzeria. How am? Logan. Logan. Guess what? Ma'am. This is not Logan. I'm Marv. No hat blowing girls. Spice. Yorkins. Logan J. Kale. Where were you yesterday? Grandma's. Bloody heck. Maybe a little warning. Next time. Geez. Woman. I prefer to be called a girl. I'm not 40 yet. And how am I supposed to know that? Because I told you so the first time we spoke. Technicalities. Technicalities. Sure. Wow. One word answers. Seriously? Yes. You deserve it for ditching me like that. I was so excited to tell you that I have aced history, and something else. Well, you didn't tell me when you went away for two freaking weeks, and maybe I had to tell you something as important. But you didn't have to pretend like you were some stupid Spanish nutcase, did you? I freaking did. But you didn't have to pretend like you had a bad case of diarrhea, did you? I freaking did. I I thought so. Are we really fighting? I guess we are. Someone will be over with your pizza in a while. Don't worry about that. I I've lost my appetite. They slash in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry greater than dot less than. Oregano. Yorkins. Hello. And welcome to the Harrison Pizzeria. How may I help you? Okay. Then. Prepare. Yorkins. Hey. This is the Harrison Pizzeria. How may I assist you? Okay. This is the sixth fucking time you. Whoever you are, has done this. Just say something, or I'm going to give up on me. Dot 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 Joey. Onions. I hate kitchens. I don't understand these enormous American kitchens that take up half the living room and then they just order a pizza. Marina Agromovic. Hello, House of Beauty. Beauty speaking. Up. I think this is the wrong number. PR. Sorry ma'am. Dot 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 Logan. Ha ha. So it is you. Joey. Up. I have to go. Oh. No you don't. You are going to freaking stay on the phone. Or I will kill you. Is this your personal phone number? Besides. I'd rather die. Oh. Don't hold that shit on me. We are going to talk whether you like it or not. And save the number. You're going to be hearing a lot from me. So, it's compulsory that we have to spill our guts out? Yes. Basically. All right. I've scavenged for your number and federal it into my phone. Then I called you up to tell you. What, Logan? To tell me what? I can't go so long without talking to you, and I know we're supposed to be fighting, but I couldn't help it. You were always the faint-hearted one in this relationship. I'll even admit to that. Just tell me. If you didn't want to talk to me, 
Why did you call the pizzeria seven times? And you only actually spoke once. And if you did want to speak to me, well, why didn't you? You are such an idiot. It's remarkable. Dude, just answer me. Fine. You want my answer? I couldn't fucking talk because I choked up. Okay. Your voice made me forget what I wanted to say. I couldn't handle it. The whole silent treatment awkwardness thing. It sucks, you know. I've had maybe two friends in my entire life, both of which either ended up bullying me because of my skin or my dad. It always ended, and I couldn't help but think this would too. It's better to just not care. And you make me care. I couldn't have that, could I? And I'm the faint-hearted one. Yes, you are. I have my moments, though. Why are you acting like this? Why are you screaming at me? I don't exactly fancy the idea of losing my hearing at 17. Because I like you, you idiot. That day, when I called in and you weren't there, the reason I was so upset Later wasn't because I wanted you to praise me over acing my damn history test. It was because I had finally gathered enough courage to tell you that I liked you as more than a bloody friend, and you weren't there. And I don't care if I'm overreacting. I can't handle becoming vulnerable and then losing everything. Again. I I don't know what to say. Then don't say a word. I'll talk to you soon. Chilis Lakes. Neil Patrick Harris. Hello, this is the Harrison Pizzeria. How may I help you? You could look at me. Eh? Turn around. What the? Hi. Pizza. Hi, he breathed, staring at the girl's face. She smiled at him, a little more hesitantly than he would have expected. They looked at each other for the first time, and she took him his dark hair, bronze skin and chocolate eyes, large for his face. She smiled, finally able to match his voice with a picture. He looked over her, with her dark red hair and tall but willowy stature. He stared into her brown eyes, and finally smiled back at her. She was beautiful, he realized, and blushed slightly. She laughed lightly and rolled her eyes. Don't pull that blushy shit with me, Logan. He grinned. That was the Joey he knew. I wouldn't dream of it. You just did it. I wasn't dreaming, was I? She laughed and said, I'm here for a reason. Which is, I'm sorry for blowing up at you yesterday. I was just really conflicted. I've never really done this thing before. He could see that she was choosing her words carefully, and his eyebrows furrowed. Okay, stop this. The Joey I know wouldn't think before she spoke. She wouldn't act like you are right now. What is going on? You idiot. I don't exactly know how to act around my crush. Right? That. Logan, just tell me, do you like me back? If you don't, no hard feelings. I'm still going to torture you about the whole Nicholas Sparks thing. And I'm the idiot. You're oblivious, Joey. Why do you think Marv keeps getting his head stuck in the toilet? He has problems. No, I like, I get all choked up and flustered when you say things, so I run away because I freaking like you. You are like the damp pepperoni to my pizza. Whoa, dude, that's serious. We've known each other for two months, and I'm pretty sure I like you, but, I mean, the pepperoni is vital to the pizza, and the pizza just isn't the same without it. That's me without you. I don't know how to reply to that. I'm not really planning out our future right now but I know we have something. Besides, let the future chill out, 
because I think my present is pretty damn fit, he said, and with that, he looked Jody up and down, and winked. She rolled her eyes, and suddenly screamed, Oh, yeah. I want me some pizza, crushed Buddy. He looked visibly startled by her sudden an exclamation, and grinned at the classification she had given him, his mind racing. Coming right up, crushed Buddy. And with that, he walked right into the kitchen, leaving Jody outside, alone with her thoughts. She pondered over the feeling she had when he had admitted that. She didn't feel any sparks or electricity. She didn't see fireworks or stars. All she saw was him. And that was enough for her. She wasn't really a big fan of feelings, but she really couldn't control these. Besides, they weren't all that bad, she admitted to herself. Logan had been inside the kitchen for at least five minutes, when he came out with a secretive smile on his face. What did you do? He just shook his head, and his hair shook with it. She laughed and pictured an explosive pizza with too much pepperoni on it, and her guffaws became louder. It was contagious, and ended up with Logan and Joey both hunched over, almost crying with laughter. Why are we laughing? Who the fuck knows? Can't argue with that logic. I am so good at this. You keep telling yourself that, and I want you to do something for me, he said. His eyes shone with mischief, and she looked at him warily. What? Picture me pooping. Excuse you. You hurt me. Great. Now, I'm stuck with an image of Logan shitting, in my head. Thanks so much. You pass. I... Whenever I think I like someone, and there's a chance they might like me back. I ask them to picture me pooping. If they're comfortable with it, they like me. Usually they stare at me weirdly and run off to bitch about me. So, you're convinced that I like you, now. I'm also convinced that I like you back. And did I mention you're for fracking gorgeous? No. And for fracking? Seriously? Uh -huh. Well, then. Logan. Your pizza's ready. Should I bring it out? Came a questioning voice from the kitchen, and Joey placed it as Mart's. She looked at Logan suspiciously, as he yelled back in affirmation without losing sight of her eyes, the same mischievous smile fixed on his boyish features. And then, she noticed the person emerging from the kitchen. Her eyes widened a bit as she saw a scrawny brunette waddle out of the kitchen, holding a pizza the size of her mom. And her mom was pretty damn huge. She had a certain obsession with candy. Holy shit on a biscuit. I... S-H-H-H. I'm staring into heaven. Logan grinned at that and rolled his eyes good-naturedly. His eyes never left hers for a second as he told Marv to bring the pizza closer and to put it on the table to the extreme left of them. She was more suspicious then, than she had ever been in probably her whole life, as he told her to wait where she was, as he looked at the pizza. On any other day, she would have accompanied him without a word of permission taken, and somehow found a way to say something stupid and slash or prank him. This time, though, she didn't. She had never really crushed on anyone before, and she was wary about how to go about the whole thing. How to speak. How to act. She didn't know. Logan seemed to have sensed that, so without even looking back at her, he said, Joey, just be yourself. I like you as you are. Don't be all quiet, that's not you. And how would you know that, mister? I know you, don't I? Don't answer the question with a question. It was rhetorical. Ask me something. Okay. When did you realize you liked me? And why? Well, I didn't. 
What do you mean? He laughed. It wasn't a particular time or incident that made me like you, Joe. It was just you, in general. As we spoke to each other, as we got more and more into this friendship, it was everything about you. Your chicken laugh, your stupid sarcasm, your ability to handle my slow brain. I don't like you for one thing, not two. I like you for all that you are everything about you that I knew. Joey, that made me like you. W.H. When did you become so good with words? Who the fuck knows? I don't, that's for sure. Now, you got me an extra huge pizza. I want to eat it. Wanna help? His eyebrows raised. As he stared at her, she had told him during one of their conversations that she never shared her pizza. She smirked at him as she noticed his expression and guessed what he was thinking about. Don't be so surprised. This nice act isn't going to last too long. Okay. Yeah, I know. I'm enjoying it, though. He winked at her. She rolled her eyes and walked towards the giant pizza. Her face lit up with happiness as she approached it, and Logan laughed at her childish excitement. She glared at him, then looked at the pizza again, from right above it. Her jaw went slack, and she looked back at him. You planned this, didn't you? No shit, Sherlock. Yeah, never say that again. I won't. Just answer the question. Jody looked back at the pizza and her lips split into a huge grin, as she studied the pizza. It was her usual with only one added difference, on it, in pepperoni were spelled out the words, will you be my girlfriend? He shuffled his feet and stared at her in anticipation, waiting for her reply. She was silent, but she slowly plucked every single piece of the aforementioned pepperoni from the pizza, piled it all onto one slice, and picked said slice up. Then, she shoved as much as she could into her mouth. She chewed it with some difficulty, then took her phone out of her pocket, and dialed something. The pizzeria's phone began to ring. He looked at her confusedly, as she gestured towards him to pick it up, her mouth still full of pizza. He walked to the counter, and turned around, picking up the landline phone. The familiar red one which resulted in the first conversation between Logan and Joey. He smiled at the memory. Hello, this is the Harrison Pizzeria. How may I help you? Does this answer your previous question? He looked back, puzzled, and opened his mouth to say something, only to be for Seft Pizza, and engulfed in a hug by someone who could only be Joey. For a moment, he stood frozen, then hugged her back. They pulled away after a while, then just looked at each other. For some reason, they burst into laughter, then leaned in, and as their foreheads touched, they grinned and Joey closed the little distance between them. She finally felt comfortable again, like she knew exactly what to do. She just had to be herself. She smiled into the cusp and pulled away, and said to Logan, Thank you, Bricacho. You just ruined it. I doubt I could even if I tried. You're right. This is nice. Yeah. It island. So, it's almost closing time. I have your number. Text me. Since I'm your girlfriend now, I think it's time we went on a date. Someone's forward. Hey, I'm Joey Sparks. I'm nothing if I'm not blunt. I'll pick you up here after you finish work tomorrow. You okay with that? No shit, Sherlock. I thought you were never saying that again. You think too much. And with that, he ducked his head slightly and kissed her again, and realized she might not be his forever. It was too soon for that but she was his right now, and that was all that mattered. As she pulled away from the cusp, 
She looked at him and grinned, mirroring his thoughts. Forever was a bit too much to think about, and Joey wasn't really one to think, no matter what Logan said. He was a different story, a different matter altogether. And right then, she couldn't care less, she was pretty damn happy. Can I say something really cheesy and stupid? Are you trying to imitate me? Nope. Then, continued, pizza slices are cut and so were we, until we met, and we fit perfectly. And they said in unison, together. They slash in, it's O-D-E-R-I-D's really over. Whoa! I can't believe I T. Holy crap! What the heck? Also, I hope you guys liked this little epilogue thing, and if you did, Please vote slash comment slash etc. If you guys think the book is deserving, please share it on Twitter. My handle is at stereoactive underscore and I hope you have an awesome day. Colon D. God this book was so cheesy and happy. Oh dear but I love it anyway. It's that bad. Thank you all so much for your support on this book. It means the world to me. I mean. It's been amazing writing it, and reading all you guys' comments literally makes my day. Thank you all for being so amazing. In general, less than three. Holy shit in heaven it's over. I love you all. Isha Anna. Bonus chapters and sequel news. Bonus chapters. I will be writing ten bonus chapters for Pizzeria Boy, mostly in dialogue. If you guys think this is a good idea, comment down below, will you? I don't think I've had my fill of these characters, just yet. If I get enough of an affirmative response for the idea, the chapters will be coming soon. Sequel news. Yes, there is going to be a sequel to this book, but it's more of a spin-off. Joey and Logan will not be the protagonists of this one. Neither will pizza sadly. The book will center around a girl named Taylor White and a boy, with the super name, Sparks. Weez is not much of a coincidence, just in case you were wondering. The book is going to be called Psychic Chick, and it will be out in early January. Also, Joey and Logan will be spoken about, and might just make a guest appearance somewhere. I hope you guys will like it. Tell me what you think of the summary, if you would like to. Extended synopsis of Psychic Chick. Well, I called in to receive a prediction. So, would you like to make me one, new girl? If it comes true, I might just do something nice for you. Oh, I am going to predict your effing socks off. By all means, continue. I predict that you're you're going to tie your shoelaces at 5.24 p.m. this evening. Taylor White is a psychic. Well, not a real psychic, just one of those chicks on a psychic hotline who talk in that really creepy voice because they're desperate for money and have no talents. Technicalities, technicalities. So, when she became a phone psychic, she didn't expect anyone to actually call in, but when this guy everyone had deemed as the cynic calls, well, she's in for a ride, isn't she? Expect the unexpected. Well, practically anything can happen when there's a cynic and a psychic involved. Bonusy. Out. Sorry. You turd. Why would you bring me here? I thought you liked to dance. I do. Just not with someone who has 89 left feet. Oh, it's not that bad, is it? It really island? Damn it. Can we just go grab some food? You, dancing, is just going to leave me with trench foot. History students? Oh, shut up. Let's go get pizza. Yeah. No shit, Bricachos. Let's go. Thick if F.O. Goo.J. I dies. Best first date ever. I.K.R. Never talk in text language.
ever again. Okay. So, why was Marv all wet? I think he actually got his head stuck in the toilet. This time. Eight. Bonus I. Today's an important day for you, Logan. Are you proposing to me? Because that's supposed to be my job. No, don't be silly. Or sexist. Especially sexist. Then, what's going on? So, are you breaking up with Embi? No, you imbecile. You're coming to meet my brother. Is he big, burly, thirty and scary? No, he's fifteen, scrawny, annoying and gross. Oh, good. Yeah, come on, let's go, Bricacho. When are you going to stop that? Never. Mina. I try. Now, move it, Logi. Yeah, yeah. Bonus EBR. Hello, this is Harrison Pizzeria. How may I help you? Hey. Logi. Joey. Yeah. Are you feeling all right? Yes. Why? You didn't interrupt me. I've missed you saying that. Oh. Hey, do you want to get married? Uh. So. Sure. Cool. As long as we only serve pizza. Agreed. Wait. What? We're getting. What now? Married. Oh my god. I love your reactions. Why do you sound so? Turn around, you dumb bass. You have a ring? You bet I do. You're on one knee. And my knee is hurting. Hurry this up. Isn't the guy supposed to do that? What did I tell you about being sexist? Right? So, let's make this official, shall we? Okay. Marv, get the pizza. You did not just guide it. It's heart shaped. Yeah. Joey. HMM. I love you so much. You beautiful human being. You're better than JLo and Nicholas Sparks put together. Love you too, Bricacho. You're the awesomest person ever. Let's go eat now. You have a little lip gloss there. Where? Right. There. Gotcha. Joey Hale. I like it. Me too. This is when they're both 21 and in their last year of uni. Logan still works at Harrison's because why the hell not? One shot contest. A note. Hey, guys. Okay, so I have been planning on hosting one of these for quite a while, and finally, I'm getting around to it. Okay, so I've gotten a few requests for this so I hope this won't fail. I hope you guys are all well, and that you've liked Pizzeria Boy. And I also hope you enter this I'm so needy. Also, just a note, the time jump between PB and PC is quite large 3 years so be careful about that, especially if you're including anything about Cynic in your one shot. Instructions Okay, so I would love if you guys wrote fully descriptive one-shots, although, dialogue one-shots are allowed, and will have a separate prize. But I would appreciate descriptives more, you feel me? You can choose a chapter to add on to, you can make an entirely new scene, anything, but please stick to the characters and their personalities. You can make it about Joey and Slash or Logan, but no one else, since this is a series which includes four books about various characters, and hopefully, separate one-shot competitions. I love hosting these things. It's so exciting. Please mention pizza somehow. Rules. Please dedicate this to me and comment with the link in the comments section. Don't play to rise, all right. No more than one chapter. Length is up to you. Deadline is the 20th of June. Exactly I think a month and half and three days. For no apparent reason but free Wi-Fi from today. The 2nd of May my birthday. 
Extensions can be requested up to five days before the deadline. Prizes Descriptive Third place Two-week promotion on this account A feature in this book along with a dedication And I'll read and vote on one of your books If you have any Second place Four-week promotion on this account A feature in this book along with a dedication And I'll read Vote and comment on one of your books If you have any First place I'll follow you the five-week promotion on this account, and I'll read, vote and comment on any of your books. Dialogue Prize I'll feature it in this book, and I'll read, vote and comment on any of your books. Looking forward to this, guys. Bonus of the party Logan J. Bercaccio Logi Hale I really hate you for making me so vulnerable. You turned my translucent skin opaque and got my heart beating again. And for that, I can't be more thankful. Or hateful. You're the best person ever. You make me feel again. Even after I thought I never would. You helped me through so much. You brought me pizza every day. You hugged me and kissed me and your brown eyes melted me. And I hate you so much for that. God, I'm crying now. Yuck. But, then again, I've never really been able to tell the difference between hate and love. On that first day we spoke, I would be lying if I said I knew you'd be my crush buddy. But as time passed, I kinda did, and I think you kinda did as well. Look at us now, standing in this weird place with red and yellow cloth and pizzas on every table. Was this plastic ring on my finger? That's going to be changed for a gorgeous diamond one, but I'll say this, this plastic ring means more to me than any diamond ever could. You have changed me, for the better, but don't ever think I'll stop teasing you about Nicholas Sparks, just because we're getting married, yeah. And, hey, Logan, I love you. This is when they're both 22 slash 23 and out of university. Bonus of the party. Oh my god. I'm suddenly regretting my decision to allow you to speak first. Because there is no way in hell that I could top that. But that doesn't mean I won't try. Joey Nicholas Sparks. Yes. I know that isn't your middle name. I love you. I really don't know what else to say. You're the pepperoni to my pizza, the chocolate to my chip. You're everything to me, and more. Thank you for existing. Thank you for calling into Harrison's. Thank you for being so sparky, so bright, and thank you for being you. I don't know what I'd do without you. I fucking... Crap. This is a church. Um... Sorry. God. I love you so much. You're fiery and passionate and amazing and brilliant and I am so happy that I could help even a little and even be a part of your life. I remember, the first time we spoke, I thought you had the best voice I'd ever heard. I thought you were a little crazy, and something of an idiot. I also thought, no, I knew it, that I wanted to know you more. How could I not? And now, look at us. Till death do us part. And stuff. Well, I don't think even death could do us part. Honestly. We're just too cool for that. Mojo Lojo. Am I right? Anyway. I feel blessed to know someone as strong and luminous as you. You're literally the light I want to see when I die. Not that I want you to die. For that I want to die. We have too much to live for, together. You're better than JLo, bloody hell. So, to finish off my terrible speech, may I tell you a secret? I think I love you more than you love pizza. Bonus V. Logi. Yes. I'm pregnant. Oh. What? I've got a little piece of pepperoni in my stomach that's going to become a pizza and then come out with my poop. 
too far. I'm going to be a daddy. Oh my god. I'm going to be a dad. What makes you think you're the father? What? I'm kidding. God. And they say the pregnant ones got the hormones. I am going to be a father. Yes. Bricacho. Yes. Up. Uh, do you want anything? I can't get you anything. Oh my god, we need to call your parents. But not your brother, he'll murder me. And I need to tell Marv. Oh my god, we need to have a party. And I need to breathe, just EFEC. And then we need to get a name, I like Jordan. Do you like Jordan? Or Valencia? Or Zoe? Like Joey? Or Steve? Wait, I don't like Steve. Steve's to not us, but I like Victoria. And James. Who? James. I. Logan. Yeah. Get me pizza. Bone yes thy. Logan. Yes. Get me pizza. Are you sure? I mean, you just had. Do not question me. I am feeding two people. Here. Dot 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 okay dot. Thanks, love. Now? Why O W V it? All right, woman. Good. Bonus V I. We're having twins. We're having twins. We're having twins. I'm aware. I still like James. But I like Mason. A who? Did you just say E W to M E? Dot 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 no. Good, love. I like Mason. You know what? Number. What? I don't like Mason. What did you say? I said, I don't like Mason. Did you just guide it? I am so proud of you. Oh my god. You just grew a backbone. Not the reaction I was expecting, but hug. Okay, then. So, James. James. If it's a boy. If there's another boy, I will agree on Jason. Okay. If it's a girl. Madison. Madison or Lily. Jason and Madison. James and Jason. James and Madison. James and Lily. As siblings. You're right. To Harry Potter. There's nothing like to Harry Potter. James and Lillian Island? Can it be Lillian? So Lily? Why? I don't know. Okay. Cool. Logan. You want pizza? I know. I know. That's not what I wanted to say. What, then? I love you. Love you too. But pizza dish sound really good. I knew it. Bonus V I. Logan. Look. Our babies are here. How are you screaming for I? Logan. Logan. Ma'am, I think your husband is dead. Ha ha. Nurse. Very funny. Well, he fainted. Well, I gathered that. Bonuses. Just look at them. I have. They're so cute. I know. My little James and Lily. Dot 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 what? Actually. Actually, what? They're James and Bastille. Wait, what? You know I love history. You were unconscious and I was slightly high on having kids. So. She's Bastille. Well. Do you regret it? What? Naming her that? Yeah. Of course not. I love it. I love it too, then. They're amazing. Not the names, the kids. Well, the names are amazing too, but, you know what I mean. They get it from you. You wish. For the longest time, I did. Now it's true. You're the best. I'm aware. Now, I'm pretty sure your brother wants to see these two. And you need your rest. So I'll send him in. See you soon. Love. See you.
Joey by James Bastille One Shot Competition Results A note So, all the one shots were absolutely amazing and so cute. You guys got the characters down pat, so I'm very, very happy with what I saw, and also humbled that something written by me could inspire such brilliant single chapter entries. It was really hard to choose a winner, but with the help of my best friend, I'm retruffful I managed. Yes, this is long overdue, and I thoroughly apologize for the delay caused by all the ship that's been happening with and around me, and I really, really wish I had posted this months ago. But either way, the results are finally here. These are including the ones that people have deleted off of Wattpad as well, totaling to 51 entries since I scored them before the deletion. Special mentions. We have a nightmare of pizza proportions by Unceremonious, which was absolutely hilarious and creative with the dream and the absolute madness that was going on. The writing was good, as was the grammar, but I have to give dimension to the creativity and originality of this thing. Next. We have Life is Like a Box of Pizza by Miss Underscore Leah Underscore Ecox, which was so innovative with the idea of the extended simile of life with pizza. The writing was good, as was the grammar, and I am so impressed with this one. Next, we have Pizzeria Boy One Shot by Caffeine Underscore Addict, which was so cute and hilarious with all the puns, like, I'm a sucker for puns. Lastly, we have It Led Us Here by Savvy in Pink, which was brilliant. The language was so fluid and well-framed, and legitimately left me in awe. Third place. We have The Pizza in Me and You by Subdirectings, which was so funny and I loved that it wasn't in the same time and place as Pizzeria Boy, but had its own charm and area where Joey and Logan met. It was definitely well written and light hearted and had so much of unadulterated charm, that I adored it beyond measure. And tied with that, we have All About Us by Westernized, which was an all round great story, and I loved the entry of James and Bastille into it. It warmed my heart, and was overall, so amazing. Second place. We have, in second place, Calzone Gal by Nightning, which was a perfect blend of funny, cute and absolutely crazy, with perfect characterization and innovative storyline. It really was a shoe in for first place, I have to be honest, here. Also, we have How We Fell Out of Love by Obra Crombie, which broke my heart into teeny tiny pieces and killed me inside. And I loved it. First place. And in first place, we have the absolutely all-round hilarious and amazing, All You Need Is Pizza by Pariah. This story was funny, fluid, cute, and extremely accurate and yet innovative, and completely amazing and brilliant and made me smile the entire time through. It was amazingly epic and brilliant and just, wow. Another note. Please read all of these one-shots guys, because I promise, you won't be let down. Guys, thank you so much for entering, it makes me jump and grin, and thank you so much for supporting this story, and me, so much. I apologize if you didn't make it, but I had over 50 entries that were all spectacular, and I had to be really strict with my choices. I'm honestly so honored to have amazing readers and writers supporting my book. Like, you guys have crazy writing chops, and I am so happy to even be associated with you. I will post the one-shot winner as my last bonus chapter with credits given as well as consent of the author, of course. Cam, is it cool with you? And I hope you guys will enjoy it as well as the spin-offs to this book. PM me the books you want me to check out as winners, etc. And I will definitely get to it. Thank you all for being brilliant. Love. 
Isha Anna. The end.